In this tutorial, we will look at debugging Struts2 application. These are the steps we will follow. We will reuse our existing exception handling project. Then we will work through a short demo on how to use the Eclipse IDE to debug our application. Then we will use the Struts2 browser configuration plugin to help with debugging. Then we will have a look at the Struts2 debugging interceptor. And finally, we will take a look at logging again. Okay, let's move over to Eclipse. So let's start by copying our exceptions project. Now let's make sure it's still running and actually we can use the Eclipse debugging straight away. So we will go into our insurance register action and we will add a debugging breakpoint on the return success. So now that we've set our breakpoint on the return success, we are going to right click and say debug on server instead of running on server and hit finish and let's enroll baby shark again and as you can see eclipse now wants to switch to the debugging view and this is our debugging view we stopped on the return success we've got a list of our daemon threads and it shows us where we are and we also have a list of the values of our variables that we can have a look in. So that is how Eclipse help us. And then if we want to go ahead, we can just resume or we can step over, step into, or just step return. So we will just resume here. And we got our success in the role. Next up, we're going to look at the Struts configuration browser jar package. So, the first thing we'll have to do is add it to our class path, which is down here in our lib directory. And so, let's go out to our Maven repository and find it. Here it is. So, let's make sure that it matches up to our version of Struts. We are on 2.5.20. So, we'll pick up 2.5.20. Download it, paste it into our class path. So let's add a link to our config browser in our menu. So this is how we define it by specifying the config browser namespace and an index action. So let's run it and see what it does for us. Here we've got the launch configuration browser link. Here we can have a look at all the information it provides for us. There's no action in our default namespace. But if we look at our insurance agent namespace, we've got action specific, enroll, register, register input. In hello world, we've got hello world name and hello input. And in our configuration browser, which is the one that we are using right now, it shows action names, index, show beans. So let's have a look at beans. These are all the beans. And we can also have a look at our constants in case we use the Maven jars, which we did because we downloaded it from the Maven repository. It gives us the info on the Maven jars. Now for our next step, we're going to look at the Struts debugging interceptor, which we already looked at in one of our previous tutorial. Here are some of the parameters we can use. So what we're going to do is run the XML parameter. Now back here in Eclipse, we set the debug parameter to XML for our insurance agent register input action. So let's have a look and see what it does for us. 
and we'll see it came up with the XML dump of the exception that we've passed. And for our final step, let's go back to our log4j definition. And we see we've got two packages with one of them at a log level of info, another one at debug. And then at the bottom here, we've got a root level of warn and a reference to standard out means it gets posted to our console. Right here, we can see the black text is actually output from our log4j. The reason we see this is because here it tells us it's on a debug level. So that means that these classes that's on the debug level are all part of the Apache Struts2 package, which is part of the Struts2 framework, of course. And that concludes our overview of debugging in the Struts2 framework. For my YouTube students, there will be a link in the description to my Udemy course where all source code will be available for download. I will see you in the next video.